Crossmatch has a, a broad range of products, all of which are very, very specifically developed for the identification of individuals through biometrics. We've long been uh, associated with the live scan field, and we've done a lot of innovation in the field of optical forensic fingerprint scanning. We've now expanded that so we have high resolution palm print scanners as well, RL Scan 500P and 1000PX. Beyond live scan, we've gotten into multimodal biometrics, so we also have uh, our iris cameras. The device of choice there is the iScan2, which is in use in uh, biometric enrollment in India throughout the rest of the world as well. Of course, we also have uh, facial imaging where we have software to do matching. Uh, beyond that, we also have document scanners, and that is very important for the announcement that we're making here at Secure Document World, but we have uh, a desktop uh, document scanner that's used to not only read documents but also validate all the security features in those documents. Beyond our desktop equipment we have a full range of mobile products going all the way from a handheld verifier, a single finger fingerprint capture device that speaks to applications through Wi-Fi or Bluetooth all the way up to our Seek 2 which is a full handheld biometric platform does finger, face, iris, does local onboard matching and includes uh, 3G communications for going to remote databases. And it too plays prominently in our product announcement here at Secure Document World. Beyond all that, we have a broad range of software. Of course, we have applications to use all of our devices, and we also have algorithms to do matching on very large databases. So in sum, we're a very full solution provider for biometrics problems. Well, Crossmatch has always been interested in not only developing new products, but doing significant enhancements to our existing products. And here at Secure Document World, we have a little of both. Uh, our Authenticator CF is our desktop document scanner, reads all ICAO documents and validates all the security features. We've made some significant improvements to the Authenticator CF, added some significant new features that are specifically designed to make it easier for an operator to use, hopefully reduce some of the queuing times by making the flow go through faster. Uh, the Authenticator CF has a new document holder which allows the operator to not hold the document in at all times. So hands-free operation uh, allows the operator to focus on security and other things rather than holding the document. In addition, the, the, uh, the Authenticator CF has a new feature called flex positioning. That means that the operator doesn't have to have the document in a specific precise position in order to read properly. It means the document can be read even with a little leeway for positioning. Hopefully this will increase the, uh, uh, the number of times that a document is read correctly on the first try and thus make the whole process a little bit smoother. In addition to the Authenticator product, we also have a brand new product that we're announcing here at Secure Document World, and that's the Quad Reader on Seek. I mentioned the Seek a little bit earlier. It's our full biometrics platform running Windows. Well, we've come up with a quad reader for it. The quad reader, as the name implies, reads four different types of data from credentials. Magnetic stripes, uh, MRZ, and chip chips that are both contact and contactless. Uh, this means that we've added this capability to capture of biometrics. The quad reader mounts on a Seek in an integral way so that it becomes part of the Seek and actually maintains the IP65 rating of the Seek for ruggedness and durability. The quad reader can be attached in the field and takes only a few seconds to uh, attach to a Seek. It weighs only seven ounces and is very compact in use. As far as its operation, it can read all ICAO documents and it, uh, it also can read all PIV and PIV-I style uh, identity cards. So this is a, a device that we're going to use to read credentials and then also match live biometrics to those stored on the credentials. Now we all know that strong security takes the form of three factors, something that you know, something that you are, and something that you have. Passport, passwords provide that weak level of security. Uh, the Seek 2 by being able to capture live biometrics and store databases of biometrics provides that second stronger level of security now adding the quad reader gives us the ability to read credentials to something that you have and match the identities of people, the biometric identities, to the credentials that they're holding to complete the full three-factor security authentication.
Crossmatch has taken a very strong global approach over the last several years, and uh, a great deal of that is being driven by the business here in Europe. We do have a, a full development and manufacturing facility located here in Europe, and so we have developers that have worked very closely with our partners in Europe to develop specific solutions for various customers. We tend to go into the law enforcement, border control, and identity management solutions. In addition to working with partners, Crossmatch now has all the tools to be a full solution provider in Europe as well. So Europe will continue to be a very strong driver for both our biometrics and our document reading businesses. Europe has led the, uh, the way in secure credentials for several years, uh, notably getting into e-passports and using smart cards for retail and for identification. So Europe has been a, a primary driver for the secure credentials. Crossmatch, being a biometrics company, uh, certainly is a, a, a prime motivator to get biometrics into secure credentials. And we really feel that adding biometrics uh, to a credential should be an integral part of any new secure credential operations being considered. I think everyone acknowledges that, uh, that face has been used as the primary biometric in secure credentials up until now, but it's simply not adequate uh, to be the, the only biometric included. So everyone is, is starting to look at additional biometrics, and Crossmatch is positioned to add iris and, uh, and fingerprint matching to those uh, uh, credentials that are using the face as their primary biometric. So I think we'll be able to add additional security to secure credentials through the use of more biometrics.